Hello and welcome to the Power Bank Expert YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing about pass-through charging in power banks and uh, what this means and how it looks like when a power bank has this feature. So uh, basically pass-through charging uh, means the ability of a power bank to get charged and simultaneously charge one or more other devices. Uh, some power banks have this feature and other power banks do not have it and today we're going to see one example of each and for this purpose I have two power banks here, one anchor and one OK. And let's start with the OK and start to charge it. So we're going to plug the charging cable and see what happens. As you can see the power bank is charging. This is denoted by the fact that the number there is blinking which means that power is going into it and charging. So now let's take a charging cable put it in the socket here and charge this speaker and see if something happens and as you can see the speaker started charging you can see the uh, first light blinking there so this means that power is going into the power bank it's charging the power bank and in the same time the power bank is charging this other device now let's try the same with the anchor power bank and see what happens so first off let's uh, charge the power bank itself and as you can see the first light is blinking it means that the power bank is charging now let's set up the charging cable for the speaker and as you can see nothing happens so what this means is that power is going into the power bank but it's not coming out of it. So the Oki power bank has pass for charging while the anchor power bank doesn't have pass for charging. Now what's uh, something important to mention is the fact that if you're using a power bank that does have pass for charging, the charging process is less efficient because the power needs to go both in the battery of the power bank and in that of the, of the device and the power bank in this process will heat up more than usual and because of the heat there will be loss of efficiency but this is still a great feature to have especially if you have one single socket and you need to charge both your power bank and one or more other devices in the same time so there you have it you have seen how a power bank with pass through charging looks like and how one without it looks like and it's up for you to decide if this is an important feature you want to look for in a power bank or not. My advice is that if you have the option, get a power bank with pass-through charging. If you need it, you're going to use it. Most likely you won't really be in, in a situation uh, that you'll need it, but uh, it's useful to have it there just in case. But uh, just to uh, remember the fact that it's not uh, such a good idea to use it on a constant basis. Only when you need it in some specific and real situations. So uh, this was a short explanation on pass for charging in power banks. Thank you for joining me today in this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my future videos as well. Bye bye.